The past two years have been trying times for people around the globe, especially in 2020 when they couldn't go out to their favorite restaurant and pandemic anxiety mounted. Many turned to snacking as a small in-home indulgence. That was great news for the global king of snacking, Mondelez International. Since its founding just nine years ago, the company has been a steady performer. But in 2020, North American sales jumped more than a billion dollars. North America was the star performer in this very global organization, so we named Mondelez International Processor of the Year. Our criteria for Processor of the Year include sound financial performance, innovative product development, leading manufacturing technology, industry leadership, and service. Mondelez North America is excelling in all those respects. North American sales last year were $8 billion, accounting for 31% of global revenues. Europe is the biggest segment at 38%, with Asia, Middle East, and Africa accounting for 22%, and Latin America for 9%. Just nine years old, Mondelez International was carved out of Kraft Foods in 2012. It strongly resembled the former Nabisco, with such iconic brands as Oreo, Chips Ahoy, and Ritz, plus then recent addition of England's Cadbury and France's Lou. Mondelez International has four billion dollar brands, Oreo, Milka, Cadbury Dairy Milk, and Ritz. Many of them are more than 100 years old. It claims the number one position globally in biscuits and number two in chocolate, candy, and gum. The company divides its products into five categories, biscuits, chocolate, gum and candy, cheese and grocery, and beverages. Its product development organization, which it calls Research, Development, and Quality Department, or RDQ, is spread across a worldwide network of 10 technical centers and a science center, from East Hanover, New Jersey, to Wrocław, Poland, to Suzhou, China. Some standout products of the year include Oreo Gluten-Free in the U.S., Philly Plant-Based Spread, and Cadbury Plant Bar. It operates 133 manufacturing plants on five continents, including 23 in North America. Some of its plants are 80 years old, dating back to the days of National Biscuit Company. With all signs pointing to more, albeit healthier snacking, and more globalization of tastes and consumer preferences, Modela's International appears positioned for success for many years.